is good everybody welcome back to another my name toys video today we are back with a brand new episode of wwe action figure surgery action packed episode today man lots of stuff to get through of course this is the long running episodic series here on my youtube channel the my name toys youtube channel where we take our wwe action figures we customize them we fix them up head swap arm swap sometimes it's a frankenstein effort we just be bashing figures completely together you know we call that a fix up sometimes we make full-blown customs i mean there's lots of stuff going on here today but I'm excited about these. They should be really fun. So buckle the hell up, man. We got a lot of stuff to get through. And usually, we start off with the guy on the stretcher. Now, you may notice right here, I have some Jordan 1 Lowe's. And I actually hand-painted these. Yeah, this is all hand-painted right here. I took the Elite 64 Usos, and I took their shoes, and I custom-painted these Jordan 1 Lowe's. That little white mark was already on the shoe, and there's nothing I could do about it. So it's not really just added paint for no reason. But there's that shoe, and then we do have the other shoe here. I think it's pretty decent. You know, just for a hand painted, you know, just little shoes right here. It's, you know, I'm a sneakerhead. I love shoes and stuff like that. So, what my plan is, is to make Usos and black joggers and then throw these on there. So, I don't have my other Uso yet. I don't have my J. So, I'm just going to take Jimmy here and we're going to put these shoes onto his new Elite over here, the Elite 95. So, that will be our first order of business or something we do here today. I'm excited about that. I painted those up the other day. Need to make another pair. So, I, I plan on just getting a bunch of Usos and having them in different kicks for the pick fed. So, that's the reason I did that. So, you know, they're the bloodline. They'll have the black, red, and stuff like that. So, they're going to have black joggers and then the J's to go with Roman Reigns. So, that'll be fun to do. So, we got Jimmy right there, who's really J, as we all know. You know, real ones know who he is, but that'll be really fun there. Next up, we do have Elite Series 100 Becky Lynch. I just plan on head swapping this Elite with the Survivor Series Elite. Now, we already head swapped this Survivor Series Elite with one of her basics, but now I'm going to take it a step further. I'm going to put the Elite 100 with the long hair onto the Survivor Series and then take this this ponytail head sculpt and put on the Elite 100. I think it'll be kind of cool, but I just realized we just got these Elite Beckys back to back and they're way different than her other Elites, so I think that's pretty cool, but that's besides the fact. We're going to head swap these in this video here today, so that should be fun there. Not the most over-the-top crazy fix up there, but moving on forward, we do have now, what was this AJ? I think I was just going to take the head off of this AJ Styles and then pop these arms off, and what figure was that? There was a pick-fed roster member I think that I was going to put this on. Who was it? It's obviously got to be a, like a what I need from you guys, if you guys, like, I'm an idiot. Again, I the ringside sale was there, right? The ringside Christmas Cyber Monday fart bag sale was there, and I completely just didn't cash in on it whatsoever like a dumb jackass. And I need the, this Stone Cold Elite right here was up for, like, 5 or $6, and I should have bought 20 of them, bro. I should have bought 20 of them because now I need 20 pairs of those arms, and I have none to use. So if you guys have a spare double-jointed pair of arms, light skin tone like Stone Cold, Steve Austin with black wrist tape. I need to make a trade for him. Or if you just have that elite, I'd make a trade for that elite or something like that. Maybe we can work out a deal. But yeah, I'm going to take the arms off this AJ Styles and I'll find the damn figure. I don't know if it's Miz. I wrote all this down so I could give everybody on the roster double jointed arms. So I want to say it was the Miz. So maybe I can get the Miz down right here. His elite 86 figure. Yeah, I think I was going to take this Miz figure right here and arm swap so that they'd have double jointed arms. So that's probably what we'll do here today. Might, might as well knock it out. You know, you might as well you're already doing all this other BS. You might as well do it. Next up, we have, speaking of dumbass, or I don't even know what I'm saying right there. Speaking of dumbass, I don't even know what I'm saying, but speaking of random fix-ups, we're going to be putting these double-jointed white arms on Sh from Shinsuke onto Matt Hardy over here. Very, very easy fix-up. It's not even a big deal. It should be relatively simple. And then I think what I'm going to do is, since I have this extra Sami Zayn laying around, I'm going to take these arms and put them onto the Shinsuke so the Shinsuke won't be armless. Or I may just put these arms over here I don't freaking know. I'm gonna be switching these arms. Now, I have this bonus set of arms. I have these double-jointed white arms right here for Edge, and I, like, am I gonna, I, I don't know. What am I gonna do with these? I just had these laying around. Should I acetone the, the tattoos off and put them on, you know, the Matt Hardy? Or should I acetone these arms and put them on that Sammy, Z that El Generico back there? Or should I just leave it alone and not use these and use them at a later date? Because I have some, I do need this skin tone with white wrist tape for some guys on the roster, but I don't know who to put it on at this gym. Juncture. I could potentially put him on like Pete Dunn, but he has black wrist tape. So I don't know. You know, again, it's something that I'm playing around with, trying to mess around. We'll, we'll see about that. There's actually a, a handful of guys. I may just leave these out for today and just switch the Sammy, the Sammy arms onto the El Generico, the Shinsuke arms onto the Matt Hardy, and then we'll come back to the Edge double joint arms at a later date, maybe. I don't know. But that's what we're doing, man. We're switching arms. We're trying to get everybody on that roster in updated double jointed arms. Now, one thing I'm afraid of with the El Generico is when I'm heating 
up these arms. I'm probably going to do it one arm at a time like this and have the white trusty hair dryer blowing that way so you don't get this mass head sculpt heated up because this custom's like five or six years old and it looks fantastic. It still stands the test of time. Like I would, I'd put on a five star classic today with this figure. It looks so damn good and that just speaks to how good Brian BW is but putting the double jointed arms on here is really going to make a difference and I do have the good old, not trusty knife, but exacto blade to cut the, uh, you know, the little mushroom peg deal style thing that's under here so it will fit the double jointed arm. So that's something we're going to do as well. You know, lots of things to do today, but we, we are going to knock all of it out. I think it's going to be pretty fun and clean. Next up, we have the ultimate Brock. Now, if you guys watched our slam and forklift thing or review, you will have noticed that this head sculpt that came on this figure with the wreck and forklift is actually better than the ultimate edition Brock head sculpt. So I'm going to be switching these heads and I may acetone off the blonde. Maybe I'll wait on that. I'll have to see, but this head sculpt is not as good as this. This has better beard detail. It actually, it just looks a lot better in my opinion, but it does have all this blonde in here. So definitely going to have to acetone that or do something with that. But this head sculpt's not as good as this one. And uh, yeah, I, that doesn't sit right with me. So we are going to be switching those head sculpts. We also have this head swap that I want to do. We have the Elite 94 Edge. I'm going to be putting this pissed off edge on this figure. And then I'm going to run this figure in the pick fed with rated RKO instead of, uh, you know, this one over here. So we are going to have a young, younger edge head onto the Elite 94. So it's going to be like updated tattoos and, and everything like that. Or they, they actually may have the same exact tattoos, but that's not really the point. The point is double jointed arms, nice gear with the this head sculpt. This is probably my favorite edge they've ever done as far as head sculpts are concerned. So yeah, it's the pick fed. It's kind of fantasy anyway, so who cares? Next up for the pick fed again, we're going to be taking the Elite 97 Sheamus, the Elite 84 Sheamus, and the Wyatt Colt Sheamus, and we're going to be switching all three of these. So this one will go into the uh, the jumpsuit for the Wyatt Colt. This one will be going into the Elite 97 for, you know, like show reviews and things like that because I don't need the articulation really for that. And then this one is going to be naked, maybe with the shirt. We'll see. And I'm just going to put him in my bin in the, you know, the updated kind of current roster style. Not current roster, but, you know, newer elites, you know, last five, six years st style elites, even though this elite's probably older than that. You get what I'm saying. So that's what we're doing with Sheamus. And last but not least, this one's the one that I'm actually really excited about. We're going to take the Amazon 3-pack Tribal Chief versus Beast Incarnate 3-pack Brock, and we're going to be putting new shoes on him because I don't like these boots right here. Now, this is accurate to some looking Brocks, but other Brocks have him wearing boots like this, where I, I saw somebody put like boots like this on here that really updated it, but I have Elite 36 Bray Wyatt boots, and I think these would make this figure look super badass with his cowboy boots on, so I'm going to be putting these Bray Wyatt feet onto this Brock Lesnar, and I think it's going to make it look super badass. So that is another fix that we're going to do. So lots of fun stuff today, man. Can't wait to get into it with you. I think this Amazon 3-pack Brock's going to be fixed up even more, and I'm here for it, man. So let's shut the hell up, dive into the surgery, and get into Dr. Whitekiss's office so we can fix up these, these freaking figures. All right, guys, it is time to dive into these things that we need to do, man. So I, I'm looking forward to it. should be really fun. Now, some of these should be relatively easy. Some of them will, will not be so easy. And off the top of my dome, really, it's just the, oh, the arms I'm not really looking forward to. But first off, we can fix up Brock right here. Should be relatively simple. I'm going to go ahead and put... You guys can let me know down in the comment section below. Do you like the Warlord boots better or the Bray Wyatt? I honestly feel like the Bray Wyatt are going to be better. I think they're going to make him a little taller too, make it more accurate. And if they don't work, if I don't like the way they're looking or maybe it doesn't work for whatever reason, I am going to put the Warlord feet in there. Maybe that'll make a difference for sure. But outside of that, I guess we can go ahead... Should we go ahead and put Jay Uso or Jimmy Uso in here? I guess we can go ahead and knock that one out as well. Now, one thing I'm worried about with this specific Jimmy Uso fix-up swap is that these have not been sealed, which I guess may help it in this scenario, but I didn't seal it for whatever reason. I think just because once I put them on there, if it gets any paint damage, I could easily just, I guess, fix it up and, you know, kind of reprimand that and fix it up. But it only has a little bit of white and black paint. I didn't put any red paint on it. This is just the red base shoes. I felt like that was probably the best way to do it. I can easily touch up black and white like that, so I'm not really worried about that. But we have those to swap. Uh, I don't think the Becky Lynch head sculpt pops off and she does have that ponytail in there so I guess I can go ahead and switch this. The Elite 100 head sculpt is, is easily removable. We don't have to worry about that. I guess I can go ahead and get the Brock head sculpt from the basic as well since you know again that's uh, th these don't pop off easily. I've already tried but the ultimate head sculpt pops off without any heat which is great. The Becky Lynch Elite 100 head sculpt pops off without any heat. Uh, the Elite 94 Edge that also pops off with any, without any heat so maybe I could heat up the Edge head sculpt. I really I don't want to ruin this figure to be honest with you but sometimes again brad you got to risk it to get the biscuit i think this is everything we can get in one go 
and then the arms will probably all have to come by themselves and then we can knock out the rest you know without heat and, and such like that so i guess we're going to start off with these and then we will come back and we will fix up the rest so let's go ahead and knock it all out of course to knock these out we do need the trusty white hair dryer so we're going to put the white trusty hair dryer right here and surely this will be simple and i won't have to break anything because if i break something i'm gonna have to break my own foot off in my own ass Alright man, that was about 60 seconds of heat. Is that long enough? I guess we'll find out, Brad, but older elites are a little more challenging. We did get that off with relative ease. I guess I could pop off the Elite 94 head sculpt and put that on this old ringside exclusive Elite, which I do love, by the way. It's a great figure. Uh, yeah, you know what? That kind of works. I, I don't really hate that. We can look at that at a later date or at the end of the video, and we're going to pop this onto here and again we'll look at the elite 94 edge at the end of the video as well what else we got here we do have the elite 100 becky or all right so that popped off relatively simple you know not the craziest bit you know of stuff there and then elite 100 becky good lord look at those pegs man these pegs are just crazy skinny man you could snap them by just looking at them i feel like got the survivor series elite and now we can pop off the uh the ponytail again this ponytail looks really really sensitive so i don't want to be crazy but popping that onto the elite 100 we'll look at that at the end so we got four different figures already fixed up next up we do have the the forkin brock lesnar i guess is what i could call it um i want to put this on the ultimate but at the same time i don't because i don't want to i probably need to make this head interchangeable so i'll probably hollow this out and then uh we can just pop well i guess i could pop this off this is the ultimate head sculpt pop this onto here and then this guy's gonna go in the crowd so basically nothing changed for this basic except for you know the head sculpt's not as detailed as this one i'm telling you you probably don't need to be taking the time to show you this but i'm telling you doesn't this head sculpt look better it's just cleanly or painted it's got better beard detail so I, I feel like it'll look better on the ultimate so but i'm gonna turn this into an interchangeable head sculpt before putting it on that ultimate body because i don't want to you know have to heat that up to switch it so we will do that in just a moment at before we do that we need to get these shoes swapped because if we don't then we're gonna lose it and these are already not even that that hot to be honest with you and these shoes are not easy to go on man they really aren't so i really don't want to butcher this but uh, we're going to see what we can come up with. These shoes really don't even feel like I got a lot of heat on them, which kind of bothers me, to be honest with you, because it's not that, uh, it's not very easy. Like, these need, to have, these need to have significant heat. I can already see some black paint chipping off, which pisses me off greatly. May just have to heat these up when we do the arms or something like that, but I am going to have these these shoes. I've actually saved up a lot of these to, to paint at a later date, so that'll just be another pair of shoes we can paint up. I'll keep these in the back. All right, guys, so I'm a total jackass, and I did not ever come back to the Uso figure. So if you guys want to see the completed Uso or Jimmy Uso figure, you're going to have to go over to my Instagram, at MyDamnToys, to see the final result. I don't know how. I guess it got put back on that stretcher, and I never picked it up again. I completely forgot about it until just now editing this video, so I do apologize for that. But go follow me on Instagram, at MyDamnToys. I'm going to be posting it relatively soon, and you guys can see what the final product looks like over there on my Instagram. Appreciate it. And then the Brock Lesnar feet should be relatively easy to do. I guess not relatively easy to do. They're actually kind of a pain in the ass. All right, we got the Bray foot in there and then popping it over here. I don't know if these are going to make him taller. I feel like they would, but who am I, you know? Lights are too bright for me. We'll look at Brock at the end. I think that's going to be a pretty sweet fix-up, though. And again, if I don't like the way it looks or, you know, I, I discover something about it, could always switch to the Warlord boots or, or something like that. But I'll show you guys that one at the end honestly i think that amazon three pack would really benefit from having an ultimate torso and arms and stuff but jimmy can go back here on the stretcher and we'll put these shoes on there in a moment these brock lesnar feet can get the hell out what else we got i guess we can go ahead and knock out these arms so before we do these arms what we're going to do is we are going to remove accessories so aj styles is ready to go i'm gonna go ahead and pop his head off because we don't need his head so these arms are going to go on the miz i've already ordered a couple more of these i'm actually going to go to my target tomorrow in the morning and i'm gonna see if i can find more of these aj styles any figures that have parts that are on clearance i'm automatically buying them from now on i'm not playing any games i'm not gonna make that mistake you know that same mistake twice so we will absolutely be doing that we do have our ms elite right here which they do share the same skin tone i do believe so i think they do if they don't my eyes are playing tricks on me but we're gonna heat these up we have the matt hardy again man always remove your cloth goods you don't want to ruin these 
threes. No point in ruining stuff you don't need to ruin. People are probably wondering why the hell I use this Matt Hardy in the pick fed. It's because he's version one Matt Hardy in my pick fed, at least for right now. Could change at a later date. Anything could change in the pick fed in the blink of an eye, Brad. Always be aware. All right, so I just noticed this, this god dang Shinsuke has a white bicep band, and I feel like I should have known that. So I don't think I want to use these arms. Like, who do I care about having a white bicep band? The first thing that comes to mind is like a white gear Finn Balor, but I don't have a white gear Finn Balor that I want to put these arms on. You know what I mean? At least not at this juncture. I'll probably make a new one at some date, but damn it. I mean, is it the biggest deal to have that armband on the Matt Hardy? No, but I really don't want it on there if there's no reason for it to be there. Who could I put this on? I may have to think about this one, Brad. I don't think this is as simple. I don't think I can do this fix-up, man. I think I gotta wait. I'd say put it on Buddy Murphy, but I don't think these arms are big enough for Bur Buddy Murphy, man. I think Buddy Murphy's bigger than that, so. Shinsuke's canceled. We're canceling Shinsuke. However, we could put these Sami Zayn arms, but I need to put those on the other. So Matt Hardy, actually. Matt Hardy's canceled. Get out of my face, Matt Hardy. We're gonna come back to Samuel Zayn. Take his hat off, because you don't want to damage it. Matt Hardy and Shinsuke are plummeting off the shelf, probably because they're upset. Rightfully so. And I'm gonna pull this off of here, this off of here, put that jacket over here, pull this head sculpt off. I this head sculpt can come in handy. I'm gonna use this head sculpt for something else. God, why does why why do things not work out sometimes? You just get like so frustrated, Brad. I cannot heat all this up though, bro. I have to heat up the Sami Zayn arms one at a time. Or the El Generico arms. I cannot heat these up at the same time. Because I cannot blast both of these arms and have that head sculpt in the way. Because if this head sculpt gets damaged, I'm gonna have a fit. Honestly, it's very risky even even trying this, but we're going to do it anyway because, you know, what do we say over here, Brad? You got to risk it to get the biscuit. We say that very commonly on action figure surgery, and it's because it's so true, bro. You got to you gotta take risks in life, man. You got to take risks in life. If you really want to achieve your stuff, you got to take a risk. What if I never started this channel and I was just like, eh, man, you know, it's kind of risky, you know, and I don't have the time and then the fart bag excuses? Hell no, bro. Bite the head off one day at a time enjoy the process be consistent and you'll blink and bam you got a white trusty hair dryer and a trusty knife and people are calling you brad all the goddamn time Bro, that was longer than I anticipated. The only reason it was so long is because I was trying to get the Brock Lesnar head sculpt interchangeable. However, hopefully this will be a thing. All right, we got that one arm off. Mask sculpt is a little... You know, a little bit phony, but you know what? It'll work. It's not, you know, the biggest deal there. So we got the one arm off. Now we just got to get the rest of these arms off. There's that arm, that arm, and then we're coming over here. AJ Styles. Popping those off. Put him over here. Great fodder body for lots of stuff over here. Charlie acting a fool. All right, get those arms off. All right. So, we got our arms. Now all we have to do is we're going to have to shave off the tips of these uh, these shoulders right here. Because you guys will notice on the new Elites, it doesn't have that little point at the end. So, you got to shave that off with an X-Acto knife. I wish I really knew the whole formula on how to do it like correctly and accurately without fudging it up but the best thing i know to do is kind of like get right here and kind of just shave it off with an exacto knife and then you can always you know shave off more if needed so come right here just shave that off there shave that off there and that's good enough for me then we come over here do the same thing i'm gonna do this for all of them i probably won't put all of them on camera but again it's just to show you an example you can just give it a little shave off right there that might be good enough. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes you'll have to, you know, come back and shave off a little more. Just don't cut too much. You'd rather not cut off enough than cut off too much, man. And then you can always come back. All right, so trying the AJ Styles arms right here. They're plenty enough heated up. This is the right arm. Plugging that on there. And then, boom, you have double jointed arm onto your Miz Elite. And then we're going to come over here and do this. And, again, if it doesn't go on, if it doesn't go on or it's not flush, you could just, you know, take the arm off and then shave off a little more and then cut Come back and try it again. All right, guys, so I did have to make a cut on that last one, but we did end up getting the arms on there. It looks a little gappy, but I'll compare to, like, why it bothers me versus why it doesn't really bother me and kind of get into that whole spiel. But here it is for the Sheamus's. Should be relatively simple. This isn't anything, you know, groundbreaking or anything like that, but I think people do enjoy, you know, like, dressing up the figures and stuff like that. I don't know. It's something weird, isn't it? Like, you get, like, new fig clothing, and then you're putting it on new figures and, you know, putting them and fixing them up. It, it's just so fun. I, re I really can't even describe 
describe like what that is or why you know it's so fun to do that i guess it's like playing dress up or something like that like translated into adult form or something but is it even translated to adult form or are we just all weirdies nonetheless getting the pants off of this figure which is another weird thing to say here pulling that off right there and then we got our jumpsuit so this figure is actually really quality now they've uh, dude i swear to god they've never made a bad sheamus man like some of them are my cup of tea but by god like it looks just like him the formula <laughs> I guess he's kind of like Randy Orton, right? I mean, he you, you don't get a bad Sheamus. They're all relatively similar, but, you know, they, they change the head sculpt around, the colors of the gear maybe a little different, but for the most part, it's just that same freaking thing, man. But right here, we're going to take this off, this cross necklace right here. Going to take that off. Going to take the shirt off right here. And, I mean, these figures are basically the exact same, except, you know, one of them is single-jointed arms. Oh, my God. So the shirt stains. Can't really see it, but on his bicep, there's a little stain image. But I'm going to take this off of here. I guess he doesn't really wear the mask anymore. Or I don't know. Maybe I just haven't noticed it. But you have the mask. You have the hat. You do have this. Like, this is the exact same figure, bro. Except the, I think this is just white. And the, the that's black and silver. This is black and white. But I think this head sculpt's going to work for, you know, the white coat and everything like that. I think it's going to look damn good. Like, look at that. Double jointed arms. Great formula. Just a beast, man. I do like the pissed off head sculpt, though. But these are virtually the exact same figure, man. Just, like, slight differences. However, I do want to put this man in the jumpsuit. That's what we do around here. Not that we put people in jumpsuits like a prison. It's more of we fix these figures up. When I'm going to shut the hell up and get this thing in here. My God, this is challenging. Why is this so freaking hard? My God. I just pinched myself with his boots. All right. This is taking way effing longer than I wanted it to. But you know what? We're almost done finally. Should be a little bit more simple. And I'm actually liking this more because now he's going to have the black gauntlets on instead of the red gauntlets. Not that the red gauntlets aren't good, but I like the black better for the Wyatt Colt. You know what I mean? So, and that thing's hanging on by a thread right there. Oh my god, dude. That jumpsuit is barely hanging on. Alright, there's our Seamus. I'm gonna be real with you, bro. This thing's like, literally, it's cause this is so old, I guess. I guess I could probably like staple that or sew that together, but this Seamus is so freaking old or this, you know, this jumpsuit. I have other jumpsuits. I'm pretty sure I have at least one extra. Maybe I need to switch this one onto here cause that one is like barely hanging on. However, now we're gonna take this and we're gonna put this jacket onto the Elite 84 and it's gonna basically be like nothing happened and i'll probably buy another elite 97 sheamus just for shishes and gigs we're putting that on there and then putting the hat on there does this hat even fit this head sculpt are you shishing me son okay does that even look right like my god anyways i think that's the last thing we had to do here so let's go ahead and line everything up here today on wwe action figure surgery all right guys so taking a look at everything we did today on action figure surgery man starting out first we do have the becky lynch's over here so we can go ahead and knock these out i think this is a quality fix up now i usually don't fix up my women's figures too too often but usually when i do it, it works out greatly and i think this worked out perfectly i actually like this head sculpt better than the elite 100 but i think the elite 100 looks better on this figure for some reason I just like the way that looks. It just fits nicely and perfectly. And then the white gear with the ponytail head sculpt. This is very sweet. I like the way these Beckys turned out. So these look quality. Maybe you want to try that fix up yourself or something. Those do look damn good over there. We also have our edges here. Now this one's a bit eh. You know, I just don't like this torso for edge, man. It just, it's way too skinny. It looks very odd. Uh, this one doesn't really work for me. I guess you could leave that on there if you wanted to. It's not the biggest deal ever. But yeah, I don't know. It's like this head just doesn't, uh, I don't know. It's, it's it's just a really plain torso, and I get, I wasn't really getting this weird vibe from this. When this head sculpt was over here, it didn't really throw me off that much, but this head sculpt being over here just makes it look weird. I don't know what it is, but I gotta get a better torso for this guy, because I'm just not feeling it for whatever reason, man, and it's, it's absurd, because Edge's figures are really good. I just, I don't like the torso they use, you know? So, let's figure something out there. You guys can let me know. Do you think it works, or do you think it doesn't work? I don't know. I, I really am not feeling it that much, so that one kind of disappoints me. We also have our double jointed arm figures here. Here is the Miz with his black wrist tape. Now, I'm not getting like any looseness or anything like that. I think he could put on a pick fed match and pose around here without any you know, arm, you know, falling off or anything like that. Like, they're on there. They're tight. It's not like messing me up. Same thing for the Sami Zayn or El Generico. I'm sorry. Like, it's flush here. I'm not getting any looseness. It feels good and everything like that. The only thing is is like, it may look a bit gappy at certain spots. You guys may not even be able to notice it, but I'm glad they have double jointed arms now, but when 
when you look at like this Amazon 3-pack, Brock, there's a little bit of gappage here. It's not perfect. And then if you look at the Ultimate Edition, there's lots of, you know, there's you get a, kind of a lot of a gappage right there. So I, I don't know. I guess as long as it holds up, like I feel like this one has a massive gap, but I don't know. That's, that's just something there. But this head sculpt definitely does look better to me. I do have to acetone the blonde off, but that shouldn't be a, that's not a whole deal. That should be really relatively easy to do. And then this Brock turned out great. I love the way that looks. I don't think he's really any taller. If he is taller, I'm not really noticing it at this moment, but the brown boots look so sick. Like, look how sick that looks, man. I am loving this. I may put on the Warlord boots just to see what it comes of it, you know, but at the same time, I am loving the way that the Brock Lesnar looks. I love it. I, th I think that the boots turned out great, but I may switch out the other boots just in case, or I, I just think that it needs an ultimate torso. Buy an extra ultimate and have somebody switch it for me. I sure as hell ain't doing it. I just don't feel like breaking it, and I love this figure too much, and I love the ultimate Brock too much, but you guys can see the height difference between the two. I think putting an ultimate torso on this figure would really upgrade the height, especially with the, you know, added boots and whatnot, so I don't know. That's something we can look at, but those look great. The updated Sheamus looks great. You know, this is just the Elite 84 with the Elite 97 accessories. Nothing too crazy there. It looks basically the same. We have the updated Wyatt Colt member, Sheamus, which looks way better. He's got double jointed arms. He can beat the hell out of you, and he's pissed off now. I just think this looks so good for the Wyatt Colt Sheamus, and then we do have the basic Brog. Nothing, nothing crazy there, and then we do have the Sheamus that used to be in the Wyatt Colt. So it's a good update, man, but that is going to wrap up our WWE Action Figure Surgery episode. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts on all of these fix-ups down in the comment section below. Which one do you hate? Which one do you like? You know, leave me all of your thoughts down below, man, but I'm getting out of here. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Another successful day of surgery. Not everything was perfect, but I feel like there's more and more figures every effing time we do surgery, man, but we're slowly approaching. Episode 100 should be a lot of fun, but I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I will see you guys in the next video. We'll never